and he was keen to go out with a bang. England made a reasonable score, thanks to Robin Smith's 109, but the West Indies, on a hot Saturday afternoon, were proceeding serenely in reply at 95 for one. Ah, oh, there it is. Here both of them gets his man, Richie Richardson, flashing outside the off stump. Oh, that's it, that's it, beautifully bowled. Maybe a little movement away off the seam, but it climbed. With Richardson and Hooper gone, that left Clayton Lambert and Haynes together. The left-hander Lambert, playing in his first test, attacked from the start, and the score progressed to 158 for three. Yes, no captain can set fields for this. Medium pace, short of a length. The batsmen are going to crucify a medium pacer on this pitch if you bowl short. Gooch, somewhat belatedly, turned to Tufnell, playing in his first test of the series, and the left armour struck with his very first ball. Must have been worth a try of spin against him earlier than this. Well, that's his answer, and the first ball, and he's got him. Now then, Stewart first up to Tufnell. Oh, first and last. Lawrence strikes, catches Dujan on the back foot, the ball nipped back and absolutely plump. When Lawrence trapped Dujan LBW first ball, panic set in as Tufnell continued to mesmerise the batsman. And suddenly the prospect of the West Indies not getting past the follow-on total of 219 looked highly likely. Richards, batting down the order because of illness, was well caught by Stewart and Haynes could only watch in horror as the tail capitulated. And Botham has him. Tufnell has another wicket. Falling into the rough outside the left-handers off stump. And it is now 172 for eight. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. That's very good. That's very well bowled. Botham's acrobatic catch completed the rout, and Tufnell returned test best figures of 6 for 24, while Haynes, on 75, carried his bat for the second time in test cricket. Following on, the West Indies made a much better fist of it, with Richardson making a fine 100. Tufnell took just one for 150, but it didn't prevent a fine England victory by five wickets, and, more important, a squared series against the West Indies for the first time since 1973-4. Lawrence strikes. And that is exactly what England wanted.